Okay friends, so here again is the final product or the sample of the final product that I was telling you about is the sea turtle mola. So it's the drawing representation of the fabric that we're going for. And here is the step-by-step -step visual. So you could freeze frame it here. But we're going to go over it and draw it together. Okay? So I'm going to start with pencil. Remember the steps. Draw, trace, erase, and then color. So we're going to draw with pencil first. So I'm going to start by drawing a lowercase letter T. To start with your T. Top of the T, you're going to add the head. And for the shell, you're going to come around, not quite to the bottom, and leave a little space for the tail. So this should be kind of round. The tail. Right, got that? So this isn't, make it kind of round. So I'm going to erase this line. It wasn't to my liking. Even Dr. Cherry makes mistakes. Okay. So we have the head, the tail, and the shell. Next we're going to add the front flippers. So make like V's, upside down V's for the front flippers. And for the bottom flippers, we're going to make curved lines. So upside down V's and curved lines for the back flippers. So we're going to flush these out a little bit. Try to make them symmetrical, the same on both sides. Same thing with the bottom flippers, the back thing. Got it. So let's work on the shell a little bit. We're going to draw a border around the shell. We have that border. And now we're going to draw five straight lines along the back of the shell. Ready? One, two, three, four, five lines. One, two, three, four, five lines along the back of the shell. Now on each of these lines, I'm going to add a V. So I'm going to turn my paper a little bit. So I'm going to add a V, V, upside down V, do it on the other side as well. V, 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 V. So that's going to be our design for his shell. When you have those V's, at the tip of each V, we're just going to draw a straight line to the edge of the shell. corners that are left. This is a big interesting shell pattern. And we're almost done. I'm just going to add straight lines along the rest of the shell pattern. to trace. Remember our, our rule, draw first, trace with a sharpie. And you're only tracing the lines that you want to keep. 
So this center line, I don't want to keep that line, so I'm not going to trace it. I'm going to correct a couple things here. Make his tail a little bit smaller. So I'm tracing only the lines I want to keep. Carefully. Now you will go much slower and take your time. I'm going kind of fast just for the demonstration. Alright, so I think I traced all the lines I want to keep. And now I erase the pencil lines that I don't want to keep. Now I'm ready to add the geometric shapes. Oh wait, I'm not ready. I need to add the lines around the turtle. Remember, in the mola design, there are multiple layers of fabric around the central figure. So in order to look like there are multiple layers, I'm just going to give it a nice outline so it looks like there's another layer of fabric right around my turtle. So that's one layer of fabric. Two layers of fabric. And for this assignment, I want you to have at least three layers of fabric, okay? So let's see, so that's one, two, three layers of fabric. Now I can start adding my geometric shapes. Now geometric shapes include squares, rectangles, circles, triangles, and ovals. So you can pick the kind of geometric shape that you would like to include. I'm just going to add rectangles because I like the way they fit in my design. So you want to make it look like there are multiple layers of fabric around these rectangles. So you're going to do the same thing. And I want you to have at least two layers around your geometric shape. Now you may want to do this first with pencil and then trace. That's probably the best idea. I'm just doing it with a marker for the demonstration. And I'm moving pretty fast just for the video. But you will want to take your time and do your best work. Okay, there we have it. I think we're ready to add color. So you will complete your design and then add color. And you're all set. I can't wait to see your finished products.